Well, two top-level meetings between the foreign ministers S.J. Shankar and Wang Li in July, 31 rounds of diplomatic meetings and 21 rounds of corps commander-level talks over the last four years have resulted in a significant breakthrough as far as the LAC standoff with China is concerned. Now, on the eve of the BRICS summit in Russia today, India and China have finally sealed an agreement over the disengagement at the line of actual control, which is LAC. Now, external affairs minister has confirmed this uh, development and has asserted that disengagement process has been completed and both the countries have gone back to petroling pact of 2020. As per the Modi government, this outcome is a product of a very patient diplomacy, a process that took place and began, in fact, four years ago in September 2022. Have a look at what the Foreign Secretary said. As a result of these discussions, uh, agreement has been arrived at on uh, patrolling arrangements along the line of actual control in the India-China border areas, uh, leading to disengagement and a resolution of the issues uh, that had arisen in these areas uh, in uh, 2020. Uh, and we will be taking the next steps uh, on this. Well, the new patrolling arrangement at LSE Mark process after years of standoff. The standoff and the death of Indian troops in a brutal skirmish at Galwan Valley in June 2020, as you remember, had impact on the India-China bilateral relationship. Now, the damage done by those incidents in uh, 2020 to the overall bilateral relationship has been immense. But with these signs of thaw, hopes of positive impact on ties have now risen, more so as it comes on the eve of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's departure to Russia for the BRICS summit and just might pave way for China-India bilateral on the sidelines as well. So uh, what is the implication of this important breakthrough between India and China? Let me uh, take you through this. So the key implications as far as this uh, is concerned that this breakthrough may possibly pave way for Prime Minister and Chinese President's bilateral today is what the sources are hinting at. Second implication of this is development indicates thaw in ties after 2020 Galwan classes, as we also told you, and this is one of the positive impact of this. Third implication is patrolling around LAC may lead to total disengagement is the third implication as far as this agreement is concerned. The fourth and the most important one is both sides agreed to resume patrolling along the LOC is a decision and part of the agreement that has now been uh, taken. Let's have a look at this reaction. We are neighbors. We need to uh, handle things uh, with um, an ability to address um, difficult issues but move towards solutions. So uh, it is a, a success of our persistence that we need to resolve the issues on the border before other things are addressed. And I think uh, the Chinese seem to have understood that we mean uh, serious business on this in this on this occasion and so um, if two billion people can address their problems this is good news